Ooh, like this music. Okay. I'm worried about my fellow rangers at the Beetle Beach Power Plant, but I'm posted here to ensure that the power plant north of here remains safe, too. Little child. Whoa, are you a real Pokemon trainer? Look, I just found this at these bushes. It can be useful. Obtain a Miracle Seed. Wait, isn't... Isn't the Miracle Seed, like, ridiculous for me? I'd give it to Doggo, but I'm currently having him hold the amulet coin. I guess we could have somebody else do it, but he's probably strong enough. We got an Ultra Ball. Kind of wish I could use the uh, talk to Pokemon thing. Oi, Sport, you look like you're the kind of type to fish. I see that gleam in your eye right there. That gleam, that hope. You seem to me like the kind of person who is ready to sit and wait for hours for something to bite. Am I right? Yes. Good kid. We got the good rod. Yeah! That, there's a good rod. Why, I might even go uh, so far as to call it a good rod. See what Pokemon you can fish up with that, eh, sport? Okay, so let's take a look at what's available in Route 8. So, as far as Pokemon uh, that we haven't seen so far, there's Cottony, Ekans, Mistrevious, and Barand. Most of which I don't give a damn about. Oh, there's the one other consideration. Um, there is actually one other Pokemon available here that I'm actually kind of tempted to get. Uh, it's called Gaslug. Uh, Gaslug is a water ice type. Uh, and pretty much I never have ice types in my party. The, uh, problem is water ice is a little bit weak against fighting rock, grass, and electric. Uh, but I could probably make do with that. Let's see, what's Swift Swim do? Speed stat, kind of useless. Natural cure. Yeah. He has any status conditions. Okay. So yeah, if we want to catch a gas slug, uh, we should start fishing here. It's got a 40% chance of catching. And uh, Galvanug, which is the evolution of it, actually has pretty decent stats from what I remember. Yeah, pretty decent stats, and we'd have an ice type rather early on. Uh, the only problem is it doesn't... Uh, we'd have to keep it as a gas slug for a long time. Looking at it now, um, so you evolve Gaslug into a Galvanug via a Water Stone, which we, we could do immediately. The problem is uh, we need to get to level 43 to learn Hydro Pump. Which is a bit rough. I mean, otherwise I could just uh, go with Surf instead, which might actually be a better idea. Because it learns... Ice Beam at the start. Ish? And Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam's no good. Let's see what other moves there are. Just... see. It's hard. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm cur currently kind of holding out for the Water Fairy type, just because it's got cra crazy stats, plus I've never had a Water Fairy before. But that's reliant on a Mega Stone. And, uh... It's reliant on a Mega Stone. It doesn't look that cool, either. Last. All right, let's go with Galvanug. That'll give us our water type that we want to stick with. And realistically, we don't have to get it up many levels uh, to actually, well, use it for anything. I might rethink this. I probably won't, but I might. The other thing is if I can get um, uh, my rival's Pokemon. The one shitty part is we still have a 60% chance of getting a Magikarp here. Not exactly happy about that. Oops. There we go. You know what? I guess let's cut, cut until we actually have it. Alright. Here's Gas Slug. I've already got it almost down. No, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, we're lucky. Oh, I might have gotten confused. Okay, well, you know what? I don't feel like uh, waiting for this one, and this is a Pokemon that I actually like, so I've got two Ultra Balls. Let's give, let's give it a go. Especially if I'm going to be keeping this one around for a while. Come on, don't screw with me here. I don't want to have to waste more than one. Fuck. Okay, it snapped out of its confusion. Good stuff. Okay. So at this point, World's Or Oyster, it's almost dead. We got so close. 
And World's Our Oyster, and we've got a ton of Pokemon to throw at this thing. So, let's start throwing balls at it. Now, I'm probably gonna save my Ultra Balls here, just because I only have one left. Uh, hey, I got a Net Ball. Let's try using a Net Ball. Oh, it's not asleep yet. Probably should have waited on that one. Eh, whatever. Didn't get it. Is it just me, or is po catching Pokemon, like, really hard in this game? Like, X and Y honestly felt like Pokemon was, like, stupid easy to do. In this one, it's like, you want to catch a Pokemon, it's nuts hard. Like, yeah. I, I, like, this is part of the reason why I haven't really switched up my lineup too much is because I'm lazy as sin. And, like, even as a half-dead, passed-out creature, this thing does not want to be caught for anything. Just like that, uh, Gligar, or anything else. Like, usually with Pokemon, I'll actually go out of my way to catch every single one as I go by. Today? Nah. I don't... Like, today? Or this, this series? I'm pretty much only gonna catch the ones that I absolutely have to and never again. If you catch... If you technically catch all 150, you do get the other starter that, uh, that wasn't chosen, the, the Fire Ground, which would actually be really cool. Uh, however... Can't use Yawn after Taunt. Okay. I guess I'll just throw Pokeballs at him. One of these has got to hit. We've got like 30 of them. Also, uh, if you're wondering why I've got the Pokemon, uh, the nuclear Pokemon battle theme song running right now, it's because apparently the radio actually, except for this Diddy, the radio goes uh, independent of every other music, which is actually kind of nice. So, Pokemon highly sensitive to the charges in, uh, changes in the season. Gaslight come and go with the warm undersea currents. Give a name to... Oh, Glass Slug. I kind of want to call him Sloops, and I don't know why. I'm calling him Sloops. Okay, so now we got a sloops. Now we don't need to stick around this place anymore. Okay, let's turn off the radio though. Uh, or switch it back. Pokepod, radio... Is it March? I have no idea how to switch the music. Custom. Ah, there we go. Default. Huh. Oh, I see. PU is Pokemon Uranium. These are the ones that we've heard? No. I'm super confused, but apparently we can also have, like, um... The Pokemon Anime soundtrack. That's worrisome. Okay. Well, you know what? We haven't been in this house yet. Let's check this out. You poor trainer, you must be tired from all that adventuring. Take a rest here for as long as you'd like. Sweet! Old lady naps. Only available in Pokemon. Have a safe trip, dearie. Oh, you can use the computer over there to check on your Pokemon if you'd like. Yes. Okay. Let's move Pokemon around. So for starters... Uh, let's see. Item. Yes. And store. Box one. Surprised that egg hasn't caught... Uh, hasn't uh, hatched yet. And the other consideration is we do also have Sluggy No, uh, which would be a water ground, which actually wouldn't be a bad consideration as well. Let's let's see where... Um... Okay, so Galvanug's at a 550. What's... Uh... Let's cast Nails, Escortress, 515. So they both would actually be pretty viable here. I'm, I'm leaning for water ice. Just because, um, it's also probably cuter, I don't know. Let's take a look, because groundwater is pretty freaking durable, and we wouldn't have to worry about anything. And it evolves fairly reasonably, too. Where's Galvanag? Hmm, I wonder if there's a list of ice-type Pokemons, uh, Pokemon and Pokemon Uranium. Hey, there is! Okay, so what do we got here? I guess maybe I should cut, maybe I shouldn't. Okay. So we got several ice types. 
Ice Fairy. Might not be bad, actually. There's Ice Fairy, Ice Dragon, Ice Ground, Ice Rock. Two regular Ice types. Oh, wait. Prim half Ice type. Primary Ice type Pokemon versus half. Okay. So, what are the other options here? We've got a Skiing Rabbit Ice Fairy. What? That's really weird. It's got okay stats? It's just confusing, honestly. From Puffluff. Which is actually kind of cute, cute, and we get it on Route 16. Okay, that's something to consider. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so apparently Puffluff turns into either the skiing rabbit or the snowboarding... ...dog... Uh, no, it's a polar bear. Honestly, personally, I think I'm going to avoid both of these. They look too stupid. Too stupid for me. Uh, let's see, there's Dermafrost, which is like a elephant Pokemon. Or there's... Yeah, there's still Serentide if I want to go, that, go with that. Either that or we actually just don't go Ice-type at all. Uh... Consideration, what about Titan Ice? Oh, Titan Ice is the Titanic Iceberg Pokemon. Yeah, let's not do that. That'd be really weird. I don't know. Because yeah, Gal... Uh, wait, Galvanug? Wait, no, Galavanug is... Okay, the Water Ice. It's got good stats. It's weak to fighting Rock Ice. I guess my main consideration is Eskertress is only weak to ground and is otherwise pretty solid Pokemon. It's got decent speed, too. I don't know, this is hard. Speed, special attack, special attack. Uh, even the relevant stats are fairly similar. This is hard. I ate this in Pokemon. I'm trying to decide which one I want. Well, okay, here's the, here's the other consideration. We've got Summary. Okay, so he's got... Shell Armor. Protected against critical hits. Oh, that's incredibly tempting. And it's got... Great special effect... Uh, special attack. Ish. Great. To some level. Versus special attack. Boost the Pokemon speed and rain. So, protected against crits, which would be super useful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Sloops, just because Sloops is just too cute across the board. Okay, and it's pretty good. I'm not exactly a fan of Swift Swim, but I'll take it. Okay, so Swift, uh, Swoop goes in the party. We still got the egg. I'm gonna hatch it, if only because I can. So, here's the other question. Where does, um... Where does... Dun Seraph stack up. Actually, Dun Seraph is pretty high on the listing. So looks like okay. So let's let's back up and look at this for a second. So we've got a water type. We've got a grass type. We have a dragon type. So you guys see my mouse? Yeah. So grass, water, flying. So that's kind of the. These two are the triumvirate of mobility. Noah was going to get replaced on Victory Road. We'll have Baryette. So, all that leaves is space for one more Pokemon who I might be picking up very soon. Let's take, take a look at my list. The other options we have is... Okay, so we're looking for S51, which I'm actually going to get in this zone. Masking, which is in the Labyrinth, it's Psychic Ghost, which might actually be better than S51, I'll think about it. And then, yeah, there's Devi Imp, and maybe Volchink, because Volchink is uh, Electric Dragon as well. Uh, and I could probably switch that out for Dun Seraf if we're sick and tired of Dun Seraph. I don't know. Uh, one way or another, okay, this is enough thinking. I've thought long and hard enough about this. Uh, continue box operations, the answer is no. Oh. Okay, so we want to go... Bag. Uh, where's the EXP share? Because we're going to need that. Because if Sloops... We need to get Sloops up to level... Uh, we need to get Sloops up to level... 
30 something. It's actually really easy uh, to get Galvanug, like I said, Waterstone. What we need to do is get Sloops up to level... 37? 33, probably. So the thing is, uh, Sloops learns Ice Beam at level 37, however, it might also automatically learn Ice Beam when I evolve it into a Galvanug. Um, it says start. Oh. Bold means... Gets stabbed when used by... Oh, I see. I have no idea what that means. I'm just hoping it would learn it there. Otherwise, we could just learn the TM, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so chances are we'll be able to evolve it at level 30... 33. Because that's when it learns Recover, which is useful. Um, and then beyond that, the only other thing we can learn is Hydro Pump, which I actually don't like as a move. It's got very limited PP, and it only does a little bit more damage than Surf, which I'd rather use. Okay, so that's enough That's enough thinking. Let's get back to battling. It's just nice to, have actu to actually have a party that uh, I truly know I'm going to be sticking with for the rest of the game. Sorry, no -o. You're cool. Um, but you're gonna get replaced. Okay, so we've got... Oh, this farmer man doesn't fight. Around here, most of us folks work on the farms. It's hard work, but it's enough to feed all of Tandor. Okay. So we're looking for a farm here somewhere. It's... It's up-ish? I actually don't know where it is. Well, we'll wander around. Like I, I said, I'm I'm looking some things up, but I'm also trying to avoid looking stuff up. Cornberries. The problem is with uh, berries is like I need like a legit farm in this game. Because uh, I'm probably not going to be back to these anytime soon. Uh, then again, we'll probably find a far farm at some point. So here's what we'll do. Uh, cornberries. I guess I'll plant one. I have no idea what cornberries are used for. Let's see. Let's see, we've got a ton of citrus berries. I'll do persim. Yeah, so what, what we're gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna plant all of these berries, and presumably we eventually find a farm in this game that we can use. I'll come back for all of the berries that I've planted thus far. Because at some point we we will definitely probably have a bigger field that I can pull from. Watch it just be like just around the corner. I don't know. Interesting question. Excuse me. Ex or excuse ma. I guess. He's got just a cottony. Isn't this thing like grass fairy? I think it is. It's been a while. Let's beat it up. Not very effective. Oh. It's got Giga Drain. Oh, this is concerning. Okay, let's try beat up. That's not very effective, but a little bit more effective. Okay, let's just let's just switch over to Doggo. No sense in wasting my time with this thing. Technically, I guess I could have switched over to um to No O. In retrospect, I should have done that. Oh well. This guy does not stand a chance anymore. Oops. There we go. Not used to them doing that. Oh. You're an electric type. Actually, electric ty types aren't really that dangerous. Let's plan it attacking first. No, it's not. All right. Ah, that's why. Well, if I'm going first, and it's boosting a special effect, uh, offense. Let's go Leaf Blade. Yeah, Leaf Blade. Okay, send in Cottony. Switch Pokemon. Yeah. Let's send in No O, and then all of the extra XP is just gonna go to Sloops, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, I don't know. I. It's just. It's just nice. I, I I don't want to spend this entire series trying to catch Pokemon and trying to like cycle my party out. I'd rather just train them all up and not think about them anymore. Evidence. Switch Pokemon. Nah. 
Like I said earlier, we're not going to be replacing no O till Victory Road. So, like... There's really no reason why you shouldn't actually use no O for the duration. Because Victory Road's probably like level 40, 50, somewhere in there. There is technically Inflegita, uh, which is like the next uh, the next route that we go through. But I really don't want to deal with that. All I do is train, train, train. All day long. Help me do some training. What kind of bizarre hair? Oh, I see. She has a visor on. I was like, what kind of weird haircut she does she have? There's our answer. Okay. I don't know if we're going to live through the first shot. Yeah, we're good. I should probably switch uh, Doggo back up to the front, though. What we want to do is have uh, Doggo lead uh, to use that amulet coin as much as possible. Palish. Yeah. Go, Sloops! You're wildly underleveled, but I believe in you. If Sloops gets walloped, then we should, we'll switch away. Okay, Sloops is way cuter from the front. Oh, man. this might be a problem. Or not! Icy Wind. Look through. Oh, shit, it's an Ice type, I forgot. Well, that didn't work. Go, Fish! Okay. Let's go long con here. Okay. Considering I don't know how much HP we're going to have left and we might get burnt. Let's roost up. Okay. Defense curl. I don't know how many more Pokemon he's got, but I'd rather go into this fresh. Nope, looks like this is his only one. And this is going to hurt, isn't it? And we missed, of course. Okay, Roost. This is going to be a bit of a rough fight. We might lose Fish as well. Or not. Yeah, we are. Damn it. I tried! If, if I hadn't done Defense Curl, we might have been okay. If I hadn't missed, we would have been fine. Freaking rollout. You know, I should see if there's a, um, I should see if there's a use item that boosts accuracy of, of moves and stuff. It's an interesting question. I don't know the answer to that one. Whew, you gotta tell me your training. Uh, it's something or other. Whatever. Training regimen. Training tips. Okay, one way or another, let's, uh, let's go back. Let's rest up. I like these gables here. They're very pretty. It's actually a really well done Pokemon game. Like... Probably better than X and Y-ish. The story is much sparser and a little bit ham-fisted. And the levels aren't as interesting. But, comparatively, just in terms of, like, trainers and fights and stuff. Yeah, it's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, technically, I could have... I could catch Mistrevious. That's the other Pokemon I'm considering. It's weird to be playing a Pokemon game and not have a... Uh, ghost type, but I guess we're gonna do it today. Once I was a trainer of some renown, but now I'm retired. My kids have my Pokemon now, and I enjoy the quiet life. Hello, more berries. Chesto berries, yes. So maybe this is the farmy area. We just have to, um, we just have to wander around a bit and battle. Oh, what's that, sugar? You want to battle? Well, shucks, I don't see why not. Why did you come to me? You're just... You're just forcing me into this. Tanskier. Yeah! I... I always hate, uh... Actually, how the Pokemon stat system works in this game. Because... Like, look at Tanskier. It looks... A. Really sweet. And B. Like a legit Pokemon. But I'd never use it. Because its stats are bad. Hate that. Really do. I mean, honestly, it'd probably be fine with that. That was the only Pokemon she had. Whoops. Oh, this one's got some spunk. Okay, back to Rindo Berries. Never even heard of those. Um, but, like, I don't know. Ooh, Lumberry is good. 
I I guess I'd rather just play a Pokemon game or Pokemon games in general where I guess I could just play normally I don't know it's it's hard to it's hard to explain pro properly beyond just like I just I actually wish everything was truly balanced Though, then again, there are a lot of Pokémon that aren't dependent on stats and stuff, too. I hear there are UFOs spotted around here, so I'm on the lookout! What's a good way to describe it? I don't know, don't really have a good way of saying it. Whatever, Nymphlora. Oh, it's that thing. It's freaky. Cu Cubfly's evolutions are actually kind of cute, but just strange. It's Bug Fairy, right? We're not going to do any damage to him, and it's going to mess me up, isn't it? Yeah, critical hit. Not very effective. Okay, let's switch Pokemon. Luckily, it looks like she's got three. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Struggle Bug should do nothing to me. Except for the, that whole special attack fell thing. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. Just gotta keep... Just gotta keep pushing it. We'll make it there eventually. I'm trying to think of what else... I want to do here. I mean, at this point, all we have to do is just charge forth. Okay. Glass Slug. Switch Pokemon. No, if she's got a Glass Slug, I could probably just fire... Uh, flame Burst it. Oh, I probably should have switched it up anyway, though. It is gonna hurt. I guess I'll do Air Cutter just in case. Never mind, that was a dumb move. Well, sometimes I do dumb things. Uh, fish! No, we probably don't want to do fish or sloops. I guess I'll send in Yo Man for the time being. Yeah, we're still in this kind of like awkward half spot. I guess I'll just stomp it. Feel bad. Okay, and whatever she has last, I'm. I should probably Luna Pop. Yeah, I can I can switch to Doggo for this. Yes. Yeah, I want as much I want as much money as we can get our hands on. And using and abusing that amulet coin right now would is super important. We just gotta keep pushing it. Okay. Do we do Leaf Blade? Let's do Leaf Blade for the extra damage. Wide guard. I still don't know what wide guard does. Damn! That really does some damage. Okay. Guess I'm wasting my time. And she really didn't have a whole lot of money there.